Salutations gamers, I'm the UGG Game, and welcome back to my animation tutorial series. Now, if you're wondering what's on screen here, here, well, I'm about to explain in just a second. Now, you see, um, since I've already taught a lot of the basics, or, well, enough of the basics that you can understand how to actually create, you know, pieces for animation, I think it's time that we actually got into some more serious animation, and I thought to myself, hey, What's something that most animation tutorials generally don't do is, well, they don't show you the full animation process or, wh or whatnot. So I'm actually starting here. I've been drawing up a storyboard. This is the first page of the storyboard. I am going to start off with this first page of the storyboard and animate the first scene. And each week from now on, I think I'm going to animate the, a, a sec the next scene from my storyboard and I'm just gonna keep going until the animation is done and hopefully by being able to see all of that start to finish the uh, the animation process start to finish maybe you'll uh, really uh, get behind and understand what it, uh, what what it's really like what you uh, basically have to do or whatnot anyway so I've already gone in and since you already know how the basic tools of making things like this I I decided, okay, so in the first scene, if you're not sure what's going on, these this storyboard is more, you know, since I'm doing it myself, it's not as complicated as some storyboards uh, should be. If you were working with multiple people, you definitely want to have a more uh, understandable storyboard. My storyboards will, might be a little hard to understand, but basically, in the first scene, you see this blank thing, and then you see his arm, it comes into frame or whatnot. Well, basically what happens is, you start off, you see his back, and then he slides this way, and then his arm comes into frame, and Payne slides the opposite way, and he comes into frame until they're about kind of like this, both in the frame like so. Anyway, I've already created the two uh, the two different bases I'm go uh, things here I'm going to be using to animate. So if I render that, you'll see basically about what it's going to look like here. So you might be thinking, okay, well all I have to do is move that to there, move that over there, and kind of slide them. And I do, but I want to add something a little more before I get, uh, get, get into that, which is I want to animate this coat, and I want to have a little bit of hair moving. So, before I uh, move them around, I'm going to do that animation first. So let's open up Pane and start off with the coat. I think the coat would be best. So let's do that. All right. Coat. Um, let's start off with the back coat before we get into the front coat. So let's go to coat back. What we want to do is we want to create our first keyframe on layer one at a keyframe. Okay. Then we we want to let's just jump ahead a few frames, so, so many frames or whatnot. Just jump ahead some, and I'm going to determine where exactly do I want this coat to kind of move from from here. Where do I want it to move? If it's going to kind of flow in the wind. So I guess I'm going to well, let's try to move this back a ways and this forward a ways. Kind of like this. Okay. So now... Okay. And add a keyframe. And then let's just kind of uh, copy these frames. Forward a little bit. And then kind of move them together and see what that sort of looks like. Okay, not too good. We want it to be a little faster than that, maybe. Hmm, actually, I'm not so sure I like that. But that's okay. We can work on it as we go. We can figure it out together. So, I want this to kind of... Actually, we might not even really need to move that much. We want, But we do need this to go down. So kind of, you know... Basically, what's happening is... The wind kind of dies off, and this goes down, and this comes out a little bit. Like that. See, so the wind dies down, and it kind of goes down. 
and then it goes back up. So animation, add keyframe. And we're just going to keep this a very, very, very simple, very simple. Okay. And we currently have it on a linear. We could have it smooth. I'm just going to keep it linear. And then we want, we want this to cycle, but first we want to figure out about how fast we want this to move. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, and then five, and then one, two, three, four, and then it should be, I want it to be about the same, even, okay, okay, now, the animation for it going back up should not be the same as it going down, we want to add some kind of keyframe between this so it needs to go to here but let's say in between here that around here kind of does this weird like wiggly thing so it kind of goes okay sort of like this all right so add a keyframe maybe just just slightly more Right. Okay, so do... And actually move this a little bit more forward so it has a bit more time to kind of fill itself out a bit. Okay, and since this is going to be... Alright. Okay. I think that might be okay. So, let's take these keyframes and set it to cycle. Then that'll be good. Absolute cycle, yes, okay. I think that should be okay. So now if we kind of play this from here, uh, that's too fast. So we're going to have to spread it out a little bit, but that's okay. Let's make it about maybe one second. I don't know. Let's, well, let's see about... Okay, that's not too bad, not too bad. One thing I would like to change the... Okay, so actually, let's move this just... Uh, let's move everything one in. Everything one in. I haven't planned any of this out, by the way. So, you know, I'm just kind of... This is just basically kind of the animation process. Just like, how, how do I want this to move, you know? Just seeing exactly what you kind of want it to do. Now, one thing I'm not liking is that this has a sort of, kind of, it it's stuck on the exact same frame there. So we're going to send this back to linear for a minute. And we're actually going to go to the keyframe right before it, or the frame right before it, and add a keyframe to that. Okay? So then we're going to delete this. We're going to delete this keyframe right here. And then we're going to use this keyframe to cycle. So now it shouldn't do that, hopefully. There we go. Alright, so that's not too bad, not the worst. I've seen worse, anyway. So, hmm. I would like to add another keyframe into here. Just kind of, there we go, give it a bit more of a flair to it. Add keyframe. So now, uh-oh, now you know what I did? I forgot to, oops, file, edit, redo, okay. I forgot to unselect the end frame, so then when I was messing around with that here, it was also messing on it in this frame here, which is a problem. It's uh, something that Anime Studio does that can be helpful, but if you forget to, uh, if, if, if you kind of forget about it, it can, uh, well, really mess you up. So then we're going to give it a bit more flair like so. 
So let's see how that looks. No, I don't like it. Not quite. Not quite. Yeah, too heavy. Rather, maybe if I just move this a little ways down. No, it's still too heavy. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Then move this a bit forward. All right, that might work. Let's let's take a gander at it. Hmm. Nope, it's way too fast now. Although Hmm. Okay. So then, well, that's part of the problem, isn't it? So let's try that. All right, just, uh, again, just kind of fiddling around with it here. All right. Now, one thing I want to change is that this comes a little too far out, I think. I'm just going to keep it a little more inwards. Right, so there is kind of a motion to it, but a much smaller one. Okay, I think that might work. Uh, although I'm still not, still not liking this. This is too extreme of a motion, so. Gives it a little bit of a wiggle, but now. Alright. There's only one thing to change there. So, it goes down. So it goes down, but then when it comes back up. Like so, right here, we want this to actually, we kind of want it to curve inwards. So, the only way to do that is to go back to the frame here, and I'm going to add a key, I'm going to add a point right here that's going to follow everything. So right here, we're actually going to move this frame down here, like so, okay, there we go, so now it's kind of poof, like that, see, poof, so it kind of just kind of goes down a little bit, and, uh, and I still don't like this, so I'm just going to pull it out again, yeah, so, I know I'm messing around with that a lot, but, and then poof, so it kind of puffs out, see, this goes down, 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 and poof, because we're trying to emulate, like, wind on it. Poof. Woof. Okay. I'm a I actually like that, so we're going to keep that. But now, we have to go back and do the coat front. Okay, so this part. This part of the coat. So again, we're going to need to go to here, the first part, and add a keyframe right there. Simple enough. So, let's check the other coat. So the other coat at frame 7, no, not frame 7, frame 12 is when the coat deflates. It deflates on frame 12. So that's where we need to deflate ours. And then it comes back at frame... 23. So since it's the wind, the wind should be moving about the same. So at 20, so 12 and 23 are our major keyframes. So let's go to 12 on this coat, and we're going to deflate the coat. So we want everything to come 
down a ways. Everything just kind of falls down. Like so. Okay. Right, so it just kind of falls down to his body. And then at frame 23 is when it all comes back. So we're going to, again, we're going to add this. We're going to copy. Well, first we're going to go here. Go there again. Add the keyframe, right? Okay, good. We're going to go back to frame 1 and copy it to frame 23. Eventually we're going to delete that frame, but we want to get an idea of the motion here. So it goes down and then has to go back up. Okay, let's say around frame 7, we're going to actually bring this in a little bit. We'll do the same thing with this, maybe. Okay, I like that. Okay, I'm thinking that's okay. Add, an, uh, add a keyframe. Now we need to... Which key... Which frame... Frame 17. Let's try to stick with the same thing as the other coat. So as it's going back up, we want this to poof again. So, let's say this kind of balls out, so it's like, it's kind of like taking in the air. Then this kind of comes up. Poof. Okay, no, not quite. It kind of sticks out there, but we want this to kind of point then. So let's see, so. Not quite, not quite what we're looking for. Also, there's a bit too much motion at the top here. Let's see, because we go down, yes, but this is a little more, should be more about there. And then as it comes up, okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not, sh I'm not really liking it. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. This one is going to take some work. Okay, so we got to, we got to create a poof, like we did with the other one. A poof. Okay, so let's let's actually take out some keyframes. Let's get rid of that. And let's actually even get rid of this. So now we so now we're back to square one on this, but we have it goes down and then it got it has to foof back up, so frame seventeen is when the foof comes. So how should we foof it? Alright, how about Let's do the same thing as we do over here. We kind of... Kind of... Like this. Okay. But then there's the problem that it needs to foof back out. So how do we get it to kind of do that? Hmm... So you gotta think about all these things. You gotta, you gotta be, uh, you gotta be working on that stuff. Okay, so it's actually, I want this to kind of curve around more as it goes to foof. Okay, so actually, come on, come on, we can do this. Maybe this is too far in. Let's bring it up. Okay. I know I'm not explaining things too well, but... Just trying to get this thing to do the poof. Just kind of deflates and poofs. Okay, so... 
Let's add those keyframes and let's just see how it's going to look right now. Just add these keyframes and we're going to go right here and add a keyframe here and delete this keyframe. Okay. And then set this keyframe to cycle. Okay. So let's just see how that looks right now before we get into anything else. So. Okay. So this one's still okay. This one is a little, mm, that's way too jerky, way too jerky. So yeah, so actually let's give that a curve. Let's even move, even though that needs to be there. Let's get rid of this keyframe and see what happens. Hmm. Okay, so it's not the worst, not too bad anyway. Okay, here's the problem though. It's poofing out backwards, I'm noticing. So notice how it's kind of poofing backwards. Yeah, that's a problem. So how about this? We're going to change the original keyframe. And we're still going to have it go down a little bit. But we don't want it to be as poofed back, I think, as it is. So let's actually bring it down. A significant amount. Okay. Let's delete that keyframe. And take this keyframe, copy it to 23. Uh-oh. Aren't I... what? Oh, dear me. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Copy it to 23. Add a keyframe here, and delete this current one, and then turn this to cycle. Okay, hopefully we got this now. Let's see what that looks like. All right, it's a little, it's still a little too jerky. So let's see. So let's see how that's going about it. Yeah, it's going all the way up there, which we don't need it to. Let's actually turn this a bit. And kind of go like that. Okay, so... It's more... Curve this up. It goes to... Kind of, yeah, there we go. So it gets kind of filled with air and poofs down. So it goes down, a little there, poofs down. Okay. Let's check it out now. I think I got it. Oh my, that's a little too, little too hard. So let's move that forward and see what that looks like. Okay forward again. Let's move this forward even. Which frame is this? Okay, let's see what that looks like. Let's give it a shot. All right, all right, all right. So still the problem we're having is this is too jerky here. Still a bit jerky. Let's move these forward and try to get this to not be so jerky. Let's see. Okay. Ah, so now the problem is it's jerking downwards. If we move it back, significant amount. Ah, crap. Okay. What if I just got rid of this? Just got rid of it. Let's see what that looks like.
Okay, so that's better. We got this kind of foof going. Foof, foof. But that foof needs to translate into this. Notice how it go. Okay, so I'll show you. It Notice how it goes down. And then that foofs, but that just kind of goes back up. It doesn't really do anything. So let's actually, on this frame, we need to show this kind of foof is a, is affecting this. So let's bring this around like so. Then bring this more of a point. Let's see. There we go. So poof. Poof. Okay. Let's see if that gives us the foof effect we want. Okay. Not too bad. Only one adjustment I would like to make, which is... Here, I think I want this to curve, right here. Unfortunately, I'm going to hold on. Okay, so animation. This is a. I'm just gotta. I just gotta get a thing. Okay, so point curvature. Point curvature, and copy frame to 16, just so that I can get that keyframe on there. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So, um, animation. Add keyframe. Animation. Add keyframe. Animation, add keyframe, and then cycle these. Good. And then do the same thing here, animation, add keyframe. I'm just adding point curvature as something that it will recognize as a frame. So, poof, okay. Go... Okay, it's actually curved a little more. Let's give this a little bit of a curve itself. Okay, I think that... Hmm. One change, okay. I know I keep saying one change, one change, one change. But right on here, I don't like that that is in. I want that out. Like so. Okay. So then. I also don't really want it to be too extreme there either. All right, let's see what it looks like. Hmm, a bit extreme. That's the problem I'm having. The big issue is it being extreme. What if I just, once again, just got rid of that? That might actually work. I might leave it like that. Hold on. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it like that. I think that's good. I got the coat. And I'm even going to save this as scene one. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm not done yet, don't worry. Let me just check my time, though. Okay, so, we're a ways in. I hope that if if things are a little, uh, um, 
I don't know, I might skip around, I might skip around on that bit. But now that we have that done, now there's something very simple we're going to add to the hair. Another simple animation before we get into the, uh, the motion of these characters. So, we're going to go to hair. And on frame one, we're going to add something, which is just, okay, so we're going to go here. And add uh, AH, I'm going to call it AH for animated hair. Uh, undo that, I don't know why that was. Hold on. Select this, and give it that color. Good. Okay, so, now, this is going to be really simple. All it is going to be is a very simple little piece of hair. Just going to kind of flow with the wind. So I'm going to give it a few points of motion. And reduce this, like so. Okay, so now I'm going to, in fact, I'm actually going to reduce this to a 1. And I'm just going to animate this, very simply. Okay, so animation, add keyframe. And then the next animation, we want this to kind of motion upwards. Like so, so... Okay, and then we give it a keyframe, copy these keyframes, and put them somewhere else. Then we want a keyframe for it, delete that, and cycle the last keyframe here. Okay. And let's see how that looks. Okay, it's not bad, but we want it to come inwards a bit. So let's say this one. Okay. Let's say that this keyframe is more inwards, like so. Okay. Curve it in a bit, so it's kind of flat, flattened. And then it goes poof. Like so. Okay. And delete that. Copy this. Add a keyframe. Delete that keyframe. And cycle this keyframe. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Uh, not quite how I want it. That's just kind of a wiggly tentacle. That's all that is. Let's try to flow with the air. So let's just do it the same way. It comes up. How does it come up? It comes up like this. Let's change this a little bit. Okay. All right. Bring this upwards. How's that? Maybe it comes out a little too far, but yeah. So it goes boop, ba doop, ba doop. Okay. That might work. Now let's just move everything closer together. See what that looks like. Hmm. That's not too bad, not too bad. But the problem is, it's not flowing with the air. Right. Okay, actually, let's check that again. So, 7? Seven? 7 and 23 is the big ones. Actually, how about we do that? Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna follow with the th with the thing. All right. So actually, delete those because we don't need them. 
So let's see here. We want this actually to be in a state where it is being blown forward. Like so. Okay, so that's being blown forward. Alright. Then around frame 7, we want it to be deflated. So then it goes... Like, it goes down. It kind of goes into a resting state. Okay. And then around frame 23 is when it gets blown back forward. Yes. Okay, so add a keyframe on frame 7. Then we go here. Copy these frames. Go to frame 23. Copy. Add keyframe. Delete these frames. Cycle these frames. Okay, there we go. Uh, the only issue with that, obviously, is that we need another frame somewhere in between that's going to act as sort of this... Just add a bit more wind to it, sort of. Okay, yeah. So let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. Alright, so... Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. Okay. So now we have the coat and the hair kind of flowing together, see? Very simple, very basic. Very basic looking stuff. Okay, so now we have a basic animation for these guys. Now that we have that down, we can actually move them, which is good. So let's save this. And again, we were just doing something very simple. Now, uh, let's talk about perspective a little bit. So, because the um, Ojichi game here is in the front of everything, because he's because Ojichi game is in the front, that means he is going to move s uh, slower than Pain is because he's in the foreground. Now, let's see. We actually want Pain to be probably a little farther away. Around here-ish. Now let's make this invisible. Good. And maybe even just slightly bit larger. Bring them over about here-ish. Okay, good. Good. And we're going to add a keyframe to frame zero right here. Which is basically we want to... Oh, crap, we can't. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Let's move forward a little bit. I don't know how long I want the animation to be, but let's just have a keyframe there. Yes, and a GG game. Yeah, have a keyframe here. Right. So, now what we want to do is we want to move them into position to where they're going to be for frame zero. Okay. And I'm actually going to go back to frame 1 and extend these two out a little bit. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take these two right here and move them back a ways. There we go. So then what we have is... There we go. Yes. So yeah, so you see he kind of, he's supposed to slide over. Oh, and pain needs to be below him. Right, of course. And pain needs to do the same thing, though. Pain needs to be, let's make that, let's make that invisible. Pain should be somewhere over here-ish. Okay, so. What we have is in our short little thing. There we go. So yeah, you see, he moves a lot slower. Pain is supposed to move a lot faster. Right. That might actually be good, but I'll try one little more thing, which is I'm going to make Pain Move out a little further and see how that looks. So let's see how to see how it looks. I 
don't understand why pain just kind of stops moving, though. Hmm. Does the animation cycle stop? No, it doesn't, so why does it stop? Well, let's see. How long do we want this to be? Let's make it a 10-second thing, so let's add a keyframe here. Yes. Okay, that's weird. I have no idea why that did that. Let's check. Coat back. It should be... Oh, right, 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 right. Let's remove this... The keyframes on these. It put a keyframe it put keyframes on everything. But so now Yes, it should continue to flow regardless. And I can torso we want all that to move. But the we don't want these animations that we've spent uh, so much time working on to go to waste. So let's get rid of that. And then there is the AH, which we can get rid of that. Good. So, now, if we play it again, you'll see. Continues to flow. Like so. And let's make that, and I'm going to save that, and then I'm going to export that as the first scene in this animation. The other scenes are going to be a bit more complicated than this, but... This one, uh, this one still needed to be made. So let's see how long that took us. Only took us about 40 some minutes, which is okay. That's not too, too bad. But anyway, so if you like this video, hit like on it. Otherwise, I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh boy. Now I gotta animate all those other ones. This is gonna be hard.